Comedian's Guide to Survival. It's a British film starring James Buckley as a struggling stand-up comic, works at a magazine during the day, but wants to make it big in comedy. Co-written by a guy called James Mullinger. He's based it on a lot of his real life experiences as a stand up, traveling around the country, playing at real dives to just a handful of people, getting hassle off fellow comedians, hassle off his partner. And it's about the insecurity, really, the insecurity of that kind of a job and the insecurity that drives a lot of comedians and just how badly paid it all is. Uh, so here you go. Here's a clip from Comedian's Guide to Survival. So, how was the gig? Oh, <laughs> don't know. Well, did you at least get paid this time? There's about like 200 on the door. OK, good, cos we really need to clear some of these. Yeah, that was split four ways with the other comedians. Right, so you got 50? You can bear in mind it's a 200-mile round trip. So right, can... but the others contributed, though. It's a bit embarrassing to ask, really, isn't it? Cos, you know, they're just a skin. Well, clearly not, because we're covering their travel costs. James! You gotta stop letting people walk all over you. Yeah, yeah, good point. And uh, I'll work on it, I promise. We can't carry on like this. These need paying. We really need to sit down and talk about this comedy hobby that you've got. James, you've got to stop letting people walk all over you. Words I hear <laughs> on a regular basis. It's close, but not quite a cigar at the end. James Buckley is great in this. There's a lot of talking to camera. Breaking the fourth wall, it's Brechtian, everybody. Um, and he's very good at that. That's a skill, whether it's Ferris Bueller or Lovejoy doing it, it's difficult to do that, and he does it very well. Uh, so he has the charisma, and there's something very casual and likeable about him. And the editing is snappy, and the dialogue is fast, and there's style, and there's pace. There's literally pace, because Norman Pace from Hale and Pace actually turns up in this movie. But the jokes, unfortunately, and this is the problem for a film about a comedian, the jokes just aren't that great. Uh, you've got a character played by Paul Kay. Uh, play, he's his boss, the guy's boss at, at the magazine that he works for. I think it's fair to say that a little of the boss goes a long way. Uh, there's a lot of the boss in the movie. Um, and a couple of lame sort of plot twists and, and novelties. For example, he interviews real comedians. He gets a job interviewing real comedians for this magazine. And so you see, on Lily, you see Gilbert Gottfried playing themselves. It works fine once, but we see it four, five, six times, and it's overplayed a little bit. So it's it's not terrible. Miana Burring's in it. She's always great. Uh, and I really like James Buckley. I think he's got this is the guy from The Inbetweeners, by the way, if you don't know, and zapped on, on the telly just, just finished last night. He's absolutely got leading man charm, and I think he's, he's, you know, he's great to watch and very easy to watch. Uh, and it's got the style and the potential, but it just doesn't quite have the gags or the script to live up to that potential. 